You can see here our small shop. This is a test shop from WooCommerce that we are using to test this integration. And first, let's see how it works in the chatbot itself. Here is uh, our test chatbot that is connected to our test page and when I press get started here I receive uh, the usual greeting from the chatbot. I can use some like hi, hello or anything like this. All this is connected uh, to Dialogflow Intents uh, and then back to ChatFuel blocks with our integrator service. If I want uh, to check uh, the goods uh, in my shop I can type something like show Categories. It can be any phrase that you like, uh, you'll see how to change this later. And voila, here I have the list of categories in my online shop that is uh, imported directly from WooCommerce. If I click list products on any of these categories, I can see another carousel that lists products in this category. If I press list products in any other category, like for example hoodies or t-shirts or anything like that, I get products from this category showed in a carousel again. Now this carousel contains not categories but the uh, go uh, goods itself. So if I click on details for any custom item, I can see the name of this item, the price of this item, picture showing this item and uh, some Lauren Ipsum description from uh, WooCommerce and two buttons order now or visit website. If I am visiting the website I am going direct to my WooCommerce shop and, and if I press order now I get order confirmation from my chatbot. You could think that uh, this chatbot uh, can look uh, pretty complex in ChatFuel, but actually not, since we are doing all the heavy lifting for you. If I go to my ChatFuel dashboard now and uh, see this bot from the inside, you can see that uh, it's a very simple structure with only a couple of blocks and most of the blocks are uh, not related to our WooCommerce shop. The only block that is related to WooCommerce shop is buy block that is sending this order confirmation event. How do we handle these uh, carousels and categories and products? Um, this is done completely within Dialogflow. If I go to my Dialogflow agent now, I can see that there are three intents that we created for you. It's Wu category, Wu product and Wu product by. Each of these intents can contain any phrase that you would like to your bot to react to, like go shopping, what do you sell, do you have any accessories for sale, do you have guitars, show categories, uh, show certain category by entity name and so on and so forth. And if I check Woo product intent, it also have some typical phrases like show products or do you have uh, some certain product uh, or show me a certain product by entity and so on. And we also add two entities for you, that's category and product. Category is a generic uh, entity that contains all your um, categories from your WooCommerce shop. It's imported automatically through API. And product entity is again filled in for you with all your product slugs from uh, WooCommerce and you can edit it and change it in any way that you like. For example, that you would like some certain phrase to show for example, like do you have hoodie or do you have t-shirt or do you have t-shirt of certain size and so on and so forth. And the only intent that is connected to chat fuel is Woo product buy. And uh, this is a simple uh, intent that is uh, tracked when I type buy something. Let me show you again how it works in the chatbot. If I type buy polo or I can change the phrase to order polo or can I have a polo please and so on and so forth. Then this uh, intent is triggered and I'm getting to my chat fuel block, which is by. And here I have a couple of attributes. I can use Woo product title, Woo product price. Let's see what else we have. Woo category slug, Woo product description, Woo product short description, and Woo product slug and product title. All these uh, uh, chat fuel attributes are automatically filled in with the values from your WooCommerce shop through API.